Hey Brad, Brian with Harmony Tiny Homes here. Uh, I'm going to shoot this quick video for you. Just going to do just a quick walk through. Not going to edit anything. Just what you see is what you get. Anyway, all right. Uh, here we are outside. This is 24 foot plus a uh, seven foot gooseneck. The siding that you see up is where we started. We've kind of taken a break right now. This is, like I said, going to be our mo uh, a new model. We've we've got one right now, so we are just kind of working on this one as we have time. <clears throat> But this is uh, Louisiana's Pacific Smart Side, uh, and what you're seeing here is going to eventually be board and batten. It'll have the vertical strips, the battens on it. Uh, the plan was to this center section right here, where I'm, where I'm kind of pointing out, that was going to be stained wood. It's going to be the same color as this uh, stained trim you see here, and then also uh, it'll be stained across the top there before we put the, uh, the trim on the roofing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, above the siding here. It'll just be a continuation of the same board and batten, but uh, since that's the top of an eight-foot piece, we have to put a piece of flashing before we put the next piece on and so so forth. But uh, this is the what I, I guess I would call the, the front of the home, the main entrance anyway. Kind of walk you around real quick <clears throat> just to the other side here so you can kind of get an idea what the back side looks like. <clears throat> There's that. And again, like I said, we'll finish all this uh, siding off here as we go. All right, uh, gonna run real quick. Step inside. So you step in here. I'm gonna kind of first look here to the left. This is gonna be the, uh, the where the sofa would go under that window there, uh, with the idea being that there's a stairway coming up right here, stairway, ladder, just uh, whatever you you know choose, whatever you want to do that. TV there, you know, if you do the stairway, you could do some storage under there also. That all goes up to this loft here that is, don't have my tape measure with me, but I believe it's about nine feet. Uh, I can double check that and shoot you a message. Um, <clears throat> but plenty of room for queen size or even a king size bed, really, if you want. Um, coming here into the bathroom. If you look uh, left here, the intent here was to uh, have the vanity here. And then this countertop would extend all the way down here to this uh, stock tank that we set up to use as a tub shower unit. But uh, cabinets underneath here, and then my intent was to have one of the combo washer and dryers right here. Um, and then if you come on around here, have a wall here, and commode was intended to go here. Of course, the window's there. And then that leaves us with this area from here all the way over to the wall, that could be closet, storage, just again, there's some flexibility there. Uh, here in the, uh, in actually in both lofts, I wanted to kind of point out that we've set up to do this, the exposed uh, four by four beams, and then do like a tie and groove floor above them. But uh, anyway, pretty flexible there. Uh, in the kitchen, as we come back here, it'll be, I'm gonna just point that out. This is another loft that we have actually suspended uh, from uh, Unistrut and Threaded Rod. Uh, just I thought that was kind of a neat look. Um, it'll work out real well. And it also doesn't give you anything vertically you know, impeding here. But uh, the intent was to have a little small kind of bar right in this area, turn the corner, have a sink underneath the uh, window there. And that leaves you, there's a little room here <clears throat> to put a, uh, like a, the intent was to do like a two burner induction cooktop or two burner gas top, whatever, whatever folks wanted. And then come around the corner, have some more countertop space here. And then right about here, uh, the refrigerator would go here. And my intent was to put one of the, <clears throat> one of the uh, uh, convection microwaves on top. So between the convection microwave and the, the cooktop, you'd have your cooking needs. Uh, you can do whatever you wanted in here, whether you wanted cabinets, open shelves, same thing here. You'd have a little bit of space here to this side of the window to do that. Uh, this is where, uh, as we step up into this this uh, gooseneck, where there's some definite flexibility. Uh, we have a set of stairs here going up into the gooseneck where this ladder is, but, <coughs> excuse me, just getting over cold. Let me uh, step up here and I'll kind of talk to you about the flexibility that we got. All right, I'm about 6'1", and I'm, I'm standing in the loft, just barely, barely touching the ceiling. So, 
Uh, the original intent was to have a kind of a closet right here in this corner and then put a queen size bed here with uh, storage from outside under part of it and then drawers under this section of it. Um, and then just use the top of this loft over the kitchen as storage or I think you, uh, you mentioned that I believe it was you that I was talking with. Uh, you may have a, an addition coming to the family, you know, like a nursery or something. Uh, but on hindsight, I was sitting there looking at this and another option, depending on what people want to do, this is, this will fit a queen size bed here. So you could put the queen bed there and then have all of this space for whatever you wanted, whether it was working in some sort of a desktop for a work area, office, uh, more closet space, however you wanted to arrange it. Or in your case, if you've got an addition coming to the family, maybe the bed goes here and the nursery goes here for, you know, again, flex space later. Uh, could be changed to office or whatever. So that is pretty much what my ideas were with the house. And this just kind of gives you a look going back to the back of it. I think that kind of covers things. If it doesn't, uh, shoot me a question. I'll see if I can answer it. If not, we'll come back with another video. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.